Hello, in this video we will learn how to use Puppeteer to load web pages, interact with them and extract data from them with its code. So Puppeteer is a node library which provides a headless Chromium browser instance which can be run from your code to load web pages for web automation and for scraping. So the first thing which you need to do is to install Puppeteer in your system by running npm install puppeteer and once you have done that we can create a javascript file and start to use puppeteer within the code so we will create a function load page which will load a page within the virtual browser interface uh, within our code and we will initiate the browser interface provided by puppeteer by calling uh, puppeteer dot launch and we will create a new page by calling browser dot new page so this needs to be an async function so right now the page is ready and we can load any page by calling page dot go to and here we can specify the URL of the web page which we wish to load so for now let's load news.y combinator which is hacker news and finally we need to call browser.close so right now we are creating a virtual a headless browser instance within our code and loading a web page and to confirm whether the page has loaded correctly let's uh, query some data from the page so we can get the page title by calling page dot title we can also content we can also get the page contents by calling page dot content and we will just log this data we will log the page content first followed by the title and to run this code all we need to do so there was a small typo to run this code all we need to do is call node index.js and you can see that we we have gotten the page content and at the last line we have also the page title which is hacker news so our code is running fine so let's uh, now see how we can take a screenshot of this page so to take a screenshot we just need to call page dot screenshot and we can provide a file where the screenshot will be saved so, so this will create a screenshot of the page and save it to hackernews.png. We can also save the page as a PDF file. So for that, just call the PDF method. Again, the path will be hn.pdf.
So let's again run it. So let's go to the folder where the files will be saved. And you can see there is hackernews.png and hn.pdf. Let's try opening this. So this is the screenshot which our code took after loading the page within the browser instance. And this is the PDF of the same page. Okay. So now what we will see is let's see how we can interact with the page. So let's comment this for now. So we are going to use the page.evaluate function. So we are going to use page.evaluate function now to run JavaScript within the browser instance and to get uh, data from the loaded page. So before that, let's load uh, Y Combinator, the Hacker News within a browser, and let's try to get the first post, the text or the heading of the first post. So how do we get this data from JavaScript? So in a normal browser, if you right click and inspect this page, you can, this is the HTML element corresponding to the first post title and if I right click here I can copy the selector and if I go to the console uh, I can use uh, the JavaScript don't APIs to get that element using the query selector command so I will need to escape this backslash And if I want to get the title, I should get the inner text like so. So this is the code which we need to run to get the title of the first page. So for that, let's first get this selector which can be obtained by just copy, copy selector. And we will go to our code and We'll create a new variable called first post selector, which will be this. We need to escape the backslash if it is present. And we will get the page title, I mean the post title, by running JavaScript uh, within the browser interface using the page.evaluate. Uh, method. So this takes two parameters. First is a function and second is the argument to that function. So we need to pass in the f selector. So, so the first post selector is passed in and this function gets it as the cell variable. So now within this we can write the JavaScript code which will be document.query selector of selector dot inner text. So this will be, so we'll just return this and we will get it as the post title. And once we have done that, we can log it as first post title is post title. So again, npm, oh, I'm sorry, node index.js. Okay, console.log. So we got the first post title as the saying which is displayed here. So we can write any JavaScript code using the page.evaluate method and it will run in the browser and you can also get uh, results from, you can also return um, values from the code, from the evaluate uh, method to our own code. So using this uh, method, you can scrape any data which is displayed within the page. Now let's see how we can click a page. 
So if I go here and suppose I wish to go to jobs. So how do I click on jobs? So for that again we will find we will inspect that and get the selector corresponding to that. I'll copy selector and I will create a new variable called job link selector is this one okay so to click you just need to call play page dot click and provide the selector to click so this code clicks the job link and we will have to wait for some time so that the page gets time to load the resulting page so we will call wait for a navigation and then we'll take another screenshot to see whether the page has navigated or not and then as before we will cross close the browser so let's comment this out so now our code will load the page will load the page will click on the jobs link wait for navigation to complete and take a screenshot and close the browser so again let's run it So let's check the screenshot again. And this time we can see that this has indeed loaded the jobs link and you can see the job listings. So the click has passed successfully. So next we will try and learn how to interact with forms. We can submit a data on forms using Puppeteer. So if I go again to the same Hacker News website, go to the home page and navigate down below, you can see that there is a search form here. And if I inspect, you can see that there is an, an input and a form. So within JavaScript, how do I perform form submission? So you can perform a search on this page from code alone using pure JavaScript for that we will just first get the selector of the input uh, go to console so input will be uh, document dot query selector and we also need to get the form and the form would be this the form element copy selector will again go to the console so the form would be document dot query selector so we have the input and we also have the form and so to fill in uh, this input with our desired keyword all we need to do is input dot value so let's search for Android and you can see that the text Android has appeared here. Now all we need to do is call form.submit and the search will proceed. So before that, let's just copy the code which we have written. So we'll need this and this. And we will need to set and finally form submission okay so now if I run the code here you can see that it has performed the search search for Android and the resulting page is displayed and we have the code for that purpose here so all we need to do is just copy it I will just comment all this 
and straight away call page dot evaluate and this time we are not passing anything to the function we're just pasting this so this code will perform uh, the search if you want we can pass the keyword as a parameter like if you want the keyword can be saved as a variable and draw it and can be passed in here so it goes here keyword so so using code you can search on hacker news for any any given keyword and again let's take a screenshot to see if it's worked but before that we will need to give some time for the page to load so that the page is fully loaded when we before we take the screenshot So we will load until the network is idle and we will take a screenshot and close the browser. So again we will, we can run the code. So this time we expect the screenshot displaying search results for Android. Let's go again, can use, so we can see that the page has, we have actually successfully done the search from the code. And so I hope you find this video useful. You can do all sorts of uh, automation using this. To get more details, just go to puppeteer.dev, pptr.dev, and you can find all the APIs, all sorts of automations which you can do. So we have only scratched the surface of what's possible using Puppeteer. So I just wanted to keep this video as simple as possible. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more up upcoming videos. Bye.